Good afternoon all, this is Patrick B. from the Carolina Music Lab and today we're going to interview our very first artist, Ms. Tamika Javon. How are you doing, Tamika? I'm fine, how are you doing? Outstanding, outstanding. Well, Tamika, obviously I've listened to every bit of your album and I must say I found it to be absolutely refreshing. Um, did you do any writing on this album? Yes, I did. Excellent, thanks. Yes. All right, how much writing did you do? Everything, all the tracks. Okay, all she, she did all the tracks, yes. okay. That's pretty good. Well, um, what type of genres did you visit on this album? Uh, pop, hip hop, R and B. Some people might say pop. All right. A lot of soul and R and B. Okay. Good old soul, huh? Yeah. R and B. Yeah, she really does. Uh, you know, that soul and that hip hop. I mean, she lays it down on so many different levels. I think you're all gonna be really surprised, and uh, you're gonna really like this album. Well, um, what's your favorite song on the album? Hands of Time. That's my favorite. Hands of Time. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us a little bit about Hands of Time. It's a love ballad. It's a love ballad. It's a love ballad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, uh, it's a love ballad. Is this song written, you know, to anybody in particular? No. 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 There's no Mister. No, there's no Mister Tamika Trevon out there. <laughs> yeah. No. No. All right. Well, fellas, y'all hear that, right? All right. You still got a shot. Mr. Tamika, Ms. Tamika Travon is she's single and ready. Okay. Well, um, well, yeah, well, tell us a little bit about the uh, about the first single on this album. Well, the first thing on the album is called uh, "Last Time," and it's for the ladies who's been in bad relationships. You know, when enough is enough, you fed up. Last time. Last time. <laughs> yeah, I gotta admit, I, I do like this song. It's it's actually my personal favorite on this album. Um, you know, at, you know that line when we say I'm, I'm walking out on you. That's just, mm -hmm. I mean, she lays it down. This is definitely a this is a hot dance track, but it's got a message to it. So definitely check that one out. Um, you know, you named this album Magic. Um, tell us a little bit about why you named the album Magic. Well, I named it Magic because it was a magical experience getting to this point where I'm at. Okay, mm -hmm. All right, magical experience. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. Um, the concept on the album, you know, whether indirectly or directly, you know, were they were they about you? Some, yeah, you know, some of it was about me, and some was you know based on my friends and their relationships and stuff like that, things they experienced. Okay, all right. So hey, family and friends, just to let you know, <laughs> hey, you know, you need to watch what you do around to make because hey, she's a writer and she will write about you. Okay, so <laughs> that's how it is. Well, um. What's your biggest fear about becoming a signed artist? Hmm. Well, being in the limelight, I've seen, you know, from TV and tabloids and interviews with people, a lot of the things that people say can kind of make them, you know, shy away from doing what they love. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to lose my love for music. Okay. Well, we're going to do the best we can to keep you protected, baby. Here, we got you covered. We got you covered. Hmm. <laughs> Well, um, well, you know, what do you hope to accomplish, you know, in the music industry within five years, or even personally? Well, I would just like to get better vocally, and you know, write better songs, things like that. Maybe uh, just you know, work with some more people, different people. Mm -hmm. Now, when you say better vocally, are you talking about uh, your hip hop flow, or are you talking about your 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 R and B vocals or my R and B vocals. Okay. I'm kind of a perfectionist. Right. I would like to just keep working on it okay. just to be the best I can. Well, they're both pretty hot right now already. Right. Just to Thank let you know. You. Okay. Well, you know, um, what makes Tamika Trevon any different from any of the other artists that are out there right now? Well, with me, I write. You know, I'm a songwriter. Um, I sing. I produce, and I can rap. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yeah, I got to admit, I can't think of anybody out there that's doing all that right now. Well, you know, I, I guess, um, I don't know, I guess maybe Missy Elliott. I, I really haven't heard anybody that can do all that since since she's, and she's kind of kind of off the market right now. So, mm -hmm. so you, you carry a pretty, pretty high torch right there. Okay. <laughs> well, well, if there's anything that you could change about this album, what would it be? Nothing really. I would just add more, just more songs, maybe. That would, that would be it. Okay. Yeah.
Right through. So can we be expecting, I guess, maybe a double album or something somewhere in the near future? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, what do you see yourself as an artist in five years? Well, what do I see myself as an artist? Well, like I said before, you know, being better, um, being able to reach out to people and relate to them a lot better than I am now. Alright. Any hopes for any, any, I don't know, maybe any awards or anything in the future? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> okay. right. What about um, any plans on maybe going into maybe acting or anything of that nature down the road? Yeah, hopefully. Okay. I would love to act. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe this is a good start right here, you know. Well, um, what kind of trials or tribulations did you have to go through to get to this point? Wow. Been through a lot. Um, just a lot of life changes, you know, issues with, you know, our family and things like that. Okay. A lot of songs on here, on your album, I know it's about me and relationships. Yeah. yeah did, did any relationships, both good and bad, help to contribute to this album? Yes. Okay. Yes, on that song last time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, somebody's lost. Mm -hmm. Somebody's lost. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, again, you know, I, I read somewhere that, you know, when you were a child, you started out singing uh, in your grandmother's choir, you know, like five, the ten days of five. Mm -hmm. and so that's true. Yes, it is. Now, I also heard that, you know, your favorite song was This Little Light of Mine. Is that true? Yeah. All right, well, look. Here it is right here. I'm about to put you on the spot. Okay. All right. Um, the listeners out here, we want to we, we hear a little bit of that. You think you can do that for us? Okay. All right, listen. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now, did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Now that's the way it is when you got a real voice. We bring a real R&B, real soul back to you. That's what I'm talking about. Straight from the church in Charlotte, North Carolina. Miss Tamika Travon, it has been a pleasure to interview you. And I look forward to interviewing you many more times through the years. All right, thank you.